In this session, we would learn how to access a Hickman line. Sister Sarita and Sister Anne Lois will be demonstrating the procedure. In order to access a Hickman line, we will need the following things. Mask and cap, central venous access dressing tray, sterile gloves, chlorhexidine, sterile gauze pieces, normal saline, sterile towel, 10 cc syringes, occlusive dressing like tegaderm, alcohol swabs, three-way stopcock, IV set, hep lock, and desired medication to give. The nurse will then explain the procedure to the child and parents to facilitate cooperation and understanding. She will then inspect the line insertion site. In case of any redness or swelling, she will inform the concerned doctor. After wearing the cap and mask, the nurse will perform hand wash and wear sterile gloves. Then, she will open the dressing set, keep the syringes and other material ready. She will prime the three-way stopcock and the IV set with saline and load Heplock if required. After the assisting nurse opens the line hub, she will clean it with alcohol swab for at least 15 seconds and let it dry for 5 seconds. She will place a whole towel. She will take a 10 ml syringe and connect it to the line hub. We will remove the clamp and take 3 ml discard from the line to remove any pre-existing heparin. She will then flush the line with 10 ml normal saline and will connect the desired medication using saline pre-primed IV set. The hub and the IV line will be secured with sterile gauze piece. The IV set and the 3-way stopcock should be changed once every 24 hours or sooner if required. Now we will see how to disconnect the IV set and close the line. Clamp the line and disconnect the IV set. She will then flush the line with 10 ml normal saline and then lock the line with 2.5 to 3 ml of Heplock solution containing 10 units per ml of heparin. She will then clamp the line and then disconnect the syringe. The line end will be secured with a cap and be covered with a sterile gauze piece. Always clamp the line in the thickened reinforced area. Always use 10 cc syringes to access the central line so as to avoid pressure based damage. The same procedure needs to be followed for each lumen. The process of accessing a pick line is similar to that of a Hickman line. The same procedure needs to be followed rigorously so as to avoid damage or contamination of the line. The volume of heplock needed to lock the line differs from 1.5 to 3 ml depending upon the size of the line. 